<laughs> uh, this school in the Paris suburbs, blackboards and exercise books are all a bit passé. Everyone here has their own tablet computer provided by the school. A major investment, but one offset by savings on paper, ink and books. And for the students, there's little desire to go back. Quite a few people lost their homework last year because it w we had so many papers and things that we had to give in. Whereas on here you can just sort of type it up and it's all saved here. You can't play games during class, but it's still more fun. From the age of seven, these devices are put on every desk, adapting precisely to each pupil's academic level or linguistic abilities. It can also make a humdrum visit to the library into something far more entertaining. They find it a lot easier to learn using this new technology than we do. The teachers are masters of their subjects, but it's the students who are masters of the technology, and they teach us things all the time. In this district of north-central France, meanwhile, local authorities have given a laptop computer to all 13,000 students under their control. For some, it's the first they've ever had. And for teachers too, it represents a brand new way of working. Some students seem shut off from us by the computers because the screen's on the other side. So we need to change the way we are in class by moving around a bit more than before, getting behind them. And France is only one of many countries turning to new technologies to boost education, moving from a computer in every classroom to a computer on every desk.